it's sunny out here, so that's a good thing. Got the shades on. That way I can, uh, well, not be blinded by the sunlight. Thanks for uh, watching uh, KWTV, this episode about the Asus EEE Transformer. That tablet that makes us go, ooh, and then makes us go, mmm, and then perhaps makes us go, meh. But I don't really know. The downside, or the conclusion is, the bottom line of this whole review is, it's a tablet, it's a great tablet. If you connect it to a keyboard, it's a tablet with a keyboard. And that's about it. It's not a laptop. And when you think it's a laptop, you start expecting it to act like a laptop. And it doesn't expect to be uh, treated like a laptop, so it doesn't act like a laptop. So it's not a laptop. And that's the key. It's not a laptop. It's a tablet with a keyboard and an extra battery. The most sexy looking device that I've seen. I've just gotten in the price from the good folks at PHC over here in Eindhoven who tell me that this baby will be selling about uh, at about 550 euros, which is not much. I mean, it has 16 gigabytes of RAM on board. It has Wi-Fi only. Okay, that's not really, really awesome. No 3G. Sorry about that. But um, it has uh, Wi-Fi on board. It has... Uh, Big screen, double battery, and you can easily extend those 16 gigabytes of storage with two very cheap 8 gigabytes uh, SD cards, and you'll be able to get everything done, and you'll have an awesome tablet for under 600 euros. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks good. Nobody has it. You don't need an extra cover for it. You don't need to buy some of these uh, fancy cases or stuff, so that's good. Uh, all in all, I am pretty pleased with the device. I was kind of sad that I had to give it back. Although, I don't know if I would have used it a lot. I perhaps need some long-term testing to really um, give you an idea whether or not it's a great device, but we'll see. So, that's about it for this week. Uh, you know where to go for the feedback. Nightwise at nightwise.com is uh, the uh, email address where you go when you want to reach me. Feedback at nightwise.com is the feedback address. You can now find us on, let me see, uh, Twitter, www.twitter.com slash nightwise. You can find us uh, on Facebook, just look for Nightwise on Facebook. We are on Google+, Plus. Nightwise is of course the thing to look for, and if you have a question, cross-platform question, you can uh, just let us know on Twitter, just use the hashtag, hash, dear Nightwise, I like this one, hash, hash, dear Nightwise. That is the Twitter tag, that's all. If you have uh, not subscribed to the show yet, you're watching this through Vimeo or some other site, go to iTunes. I go to the iTunes store and look for The Nightcast, and you'll get the RSS feed uh, of um, the nightwise.com website with The Nightcast podcasts, KWTV screencast, the DocuCast. There's all kinds of stuff in there, so that's good. And uh, if you don't use iTunes, an open source guru and you say I like Richard Stallman and the crappy eats from his sandals that's okay you can go to nightwise.com k-n-i-g-h-t-w-i-s-e.com yes I can still spell uh, and you will find the RSS media feed in the top right corner right corner yes top right corner except when you're sitting behind your screen then it's the top left corner but then you won't see it because uh, you're at the wrong side of the display never mind well, that's about it. See you guys on the flip side. Until then, let technology work for you. Oh, by the way, uh, the winner of the contest of the last KWTV about our mystery dongle that we showed you is Godel Spruf in Japan. Uh, it is actually an Ethernet adapter for a Mac. Yes, yes. It's really old, and he wins the competition, not because he was the only one who sent in an answer, but because he still uses one uses it to connect his Quadra 700 to the network, and that, in my opinion, is, um, well, worth a win. We won't be shipping him a box of crap, because we're kind of nervous that he might have come up with the idea of ship us a box of, box of crap back, and that might be radioactive, so not such a good idea. Ghost proof, sorry, no prize. We like ship, would like to ship you the box, but it's a little bit far. We'll just love you a little more. Is that okay? So, that's it. See you guys on the flip side in the next episode of KWTV, where we will be reviewing the Boxy Box. Until uh, then, I will keep my eyes on the road, and stop talking to you, and not crash the car, and not drive too fast. Because, there has to be another episode of Nightwise.com. See you guys. Bye-bye.